going to solve a system of linear equations in two variables by a method called elimination or addition. This is where you add multiples of the equations together to cancel out a variable. So for this problem, if we add these just as they are, the y will cancel. Positive 3y, negative 3y will cancel. Will give us 4x equals negative 16 divide by 4 x will equal negative 4 and then we substitute the x back in to solve for y you can substitute it into either equation I'll substitute it here so I have negative 4 plus 3y equals 2 add 4 to both sides so I have 3y equals 6 divided by 3, y equals 2. So my answer is negative 4, 2 is the solution to this system of equations. For my next system of equations, um, I can't just add them and cancel anything right now. But I can see if I would multiply my first equation by a negative 2, it would give me a positive 2y here. And then I could add them and they will cancel. So I'm going to multiply through the first equation by a negative 2. All right, and I'm just going to write it down below. So I have a negative 12x plus 2y equals positive 10. Now I'll work with these two equations and my y's will cancel when I add them together. So I have 8 negative 8x equals 16 divide by negative 8 and x equals negative 2. Substitute that back into either equation um, I will just substitute it into my original one. So I have 6 times negative 2 minus y equals negative 5. This gives me negative 12 minus y equals negative 5. Add your 12. So if negative y equals 7, you don't want negative y. Say so of y equals negative 7. So my solution to this system is the ordered pair negative 2, negative 7. For my next system of equations, I'm going to have to rearrange uh, the second equation. So I want the y to line up with my other y's. So I'm just going to rewrite. So I have my first equation is going to stay the same. My second equation, I'm going to subtract 6y and add 2. So keep the 2x. I'm going to subtract 6y to get it on the left-hand side. I will add 2 to get it on the right-hand side. And now I'm ready to plan to cancel if I add something together. Um, there's not anything right here that you can just add together. And looking at these, um, I don't see anything where I can multiply by one of the equations to make it cancel with the other. I can see if I multiply the first equation by a 2 and the second equation by a negative 3, I'm going to be able to get a 6x and a negative 6x. So I think that is the direction I will go. I will multiply a 2 times the first equation and a negative 3 times the second equation. All right, so 2 times the first equation gives me 6x minus 10y equals 22. Negative 3 times the second equation is negative 6x plus 18y equals negative 6. Now we can add them together. The x's will cancel. 
for the y's will leave me 8y equals 16 divided by 8. So y equals 2. We need to substitute the y back and solve for x. We could plug it into either equation. I think I will plug into the second one. So I have 2x minus 2 equals 6 times 2. All right, 2x minus 2 equals 12. Add 2 to both sides. 2x equals 14. Divide by 2. x equals 7. So my solution to the system is 7, 2. For my next system of equations, I'm going to use the elimination method. And I am going to multiply by my, my first equation by a 3 to get a negative 6y and a positive 6y. So I will multiply through by 3. I'm going to write it below. It gives me 15x minus 6y equals 66. The 6y's will cancel. That will leave me 12x equals 48. Divide by 12, x equals 4. And then I will substitute back. I'm going to plug back into my first equation. So 5 times 4 minus 2y equals 22. 20 minus 2y equals 22. Subtract the 20. Gives me negative 2y equals 2. Divide by negative 2. y equals negative 1. So my solution is the ordered pair 4, negative 1. The first thing I'm going to do on this next problem is get rid of these fractions. So on my equation number 1, I'm going to multiply through by 9. All the way across by 9. So 9 here, 9 here, and 9 here. That will give me 2x plus 9y equals 13 times 3, 39. Right. Second equation, I'm going to multiply through by 8 times each piece. So the 8's will cancel, leaves me negative x. 4 will go into 8 two times. So it gives me a minus 2y. And the 8's cancel, gives me a minus 7. Now I'll work with these two equations. I will multiply the second equation through by a 2 so that I can add them together. So it gives me a negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 14. I'm just going to bring my top one down so I have them together. And now I can add them together to cancel out a variable. And 9 minus 4 will give me 5y equals 25 divide by 5, so y equals 5. All right, I'm going to substitute it back, and I'm going to substitute it into this equation, into the y. So I have negative x minus 2 times 5 equals negative 7, negative x minus 10 equals negative 7. Add your 10 to both sides. Negative x equals 3. Divide by negative 1. x equals negative 3. So my solution is negative 3, 5. For our next system of equations, um, I'm going to have to multiply both of them by something. So I'm going to choose to multiply 3 times the first one. That would give me a 12x and a 2 times the second one. So I'll do a 3 
times this one and a 2 times this one to get a 12x and a negative 12x. So I'm going to rewrite those. I have 12x plus 18y equals 24. On my second equation, I have negative 12x minus 18y equals negative 24. When I add them together, my x's cancel, my y's cancel, my 24's cancel. So if everything cancels, it leaves me 0. This time I have a true statement. Right, so I'm going to have an infinite number of solutions. I don't want to say all real numbers because it has to make these equations true. So I'm going to say it is the set of all ordered pairs, so points that fall on this line. And I could put either equation here for my rule. So 4x plus 6y equals 8. Or I could have put the other equation here. It would not matter. But this is the solution set. We have one more system to look at. Uh, for this one, I'm going to choose to multiply my first equation by a negative 2. That would make my x's cancel. So I'll multiply through by negative 2. I'm going to rewrite it. It gives me negative 4x positive 8y equals negative 20. And so then when I add together, my x's cancel, my y's cancel, my 20's cancel. So like our last one, I am getting a true statement, but everything is canceled. So my solution set is the set of all ordered pairs, x and y, such that I could write either equation here. So I'm just going to write the first one. And that is my solution set.